ever wondered what it'd be like to be born into a family of circus performers? Well, we're here tonight at the Royal Canadian Family Circus Spectac to find out just what is the special sauce that goes into making a spectacular family circus performance. Well, a lot of performers here, they, they've been in the circus for generations and generations. I would say 90% of our artists have been in it for their families' generations, you know. Some go to some circus schools, and then join later, you know, but uh, mostly they're all generations. What exactly is that special sauce that makes uh, a family I, run so deep of circus performers? I think it's something that's in our blood. I don't think you can make a good artist, you can't really make a good clown. It has to be natural. My daughter is in the show. She was the one in the wheel with me, she does aerial, and we knew already when she was just a kid, she wanted to get on the trapeze and hang. So I think it's something that's in our blood and it's passed on from generation to generation. How did you first meet and start performing together? Well, actually, um, I was working here in the States with the um, Ringling Brothers and then uh, uh, I went to Europe. Uh, we went to Sweden and then we went to Spain and then I met her and then in three days we were married. I'm curious, what is it like performing with your partner every single night? It's fun. <laughs> we put it that way, it's very fun. Uh, well, it, you know, you put everything outside when you go inside the ring. Uh, the problems do you leave outside. It's uh, something, uh, because it's very dangerous, it's uh, very, very dangerous. So you have to have your mind uh, nothing at all. You just concentrate on what you're going to do and uh, try to do the best you can. It seems like you two really have been supporting each other for the last 35 years. Do you think if, if that's been one of the keys to your success? Uh, yes, I think so. Too, because we care for each other, we take care of each other up there. And uh, there's no room for mistakes up there. You, I mean, if you, if you make a mistake, you make the other person pay for it and vice versa. So it's like there's no room for mistakes. When you saw these amazing performances, what was your reaction like? It's amazing. Wow. It's just... Oh, it's uh, the ones that um, were on the trapeze there on the top. Uh, I, I can. It is so cool. What's been your favorite part so far? Oh, um, when uh, the man was jumping on the jumping rope, and I thought he couldn't do anything, but um, he continued um, jumping on the rope. So you guys have been performing for 35 years all around the world. What have the Vancouver area performances been like thus far? Beautiful. They, the people like very much. They're very happy when we work and they love the show. The show is, I think the show is very nice and they love it. And we had, uh, well, only, this is the second town. We are here in Canada and uh, they loved it and we loved it too. We love the people and we love Canada too. <laughs> the audience has been nothing less than awesome. In our last spot in Surrey, they were just like this. They were just over the top. And we're so, it does such an adrenaline boost to our artists. To myself, I could have a really tired, we did three shows, three shows, and that audience will do that. And you become this electric person, you know, and it's great. We love it, we love it. Well, it's been a spectacular night of fun here at the Royal Family Circus. I'm Jordan Wade for City Lights and Novus TV, where we're having so much fun, it's scary.